Welcome to the Abbot of James Bill. Hey, well, thanks for joining me. Well, the dinette is once again in work mode because uh, I have been painting these two bits here. These are going to form um, that kind of, I don't know, ledge come kind of hiding the pipes away unit really. Um, now it's not just me as the only adult spending time in the bathroom uh, and that end of the boat. Uh, I need to go about kind of finishing it much like I've done with the fireplace and other bits around here I need to kind of turn my attention to that end of the boat so um, yeah finish that little bit there hide that bit up there's a bit of flooring which needs to be repaired uh, and then I need to make some kind of towel rail because the kind of towels are just being draped over the shower at the moment that's not particularly useful um, so I think I'm going to see if I can use the same kind of design as these two bits here I've got some pine left I've got some kind of well, like wardrobe hanging rail kind of thing to because I don't want it to be out of timber because towels are fairly well they're heavy and these are just to support these books whereas towels can be draped over it I think I'm going to have two rails because I like it when towels are draped in um, and yeah so that'll be the plan so I've got that so that's going to occupy that kind of space there uh, and then I need to uh, do some changes in the actual bathroom behind the toilet and the wash hand basin so uh that's the plan, let's crack on. Uh, excuse the camera angles, it's a tad small in here. So uh, this is the problem I've got uh, in the bathroom. Uh, the fact that when we're brushing our teeth or anything, so basically you're hitting your head on there. The wash hand basin height was designed for the children uh, in mind. Uh, obviously I can make do with things, I don't really mind, but um, that's not true for everyone. So that needs to be kind of raised ideally. That needs to move, and I need to have more storage up here. That needs to be made nicer looking uh, and have a light behind it and finish that off. Um, that needs to be sorted out, which I'm going to do. Tail rail there. Yeah, that should be all right for the moment. Right, repaired piece of floor is now done. Now I can go about putting this in. I think I'm just going to use cabinet blocks to fix it in and then screw the top in so uh that'll be the way to go about there's, there's the upright in place i'll put the cabinet block on there just for that to fit in place i've got to get some edging like that d-shaped profile to go on that leading edge there chuck a couple of magnets on it and that'll be done i'm not going to screw it in place and then because then i'll need to use filler to cover the screw holes and then if i ever need to access that piping junction there I won't be able to very easily so I'm just gonna leave it on like that right so I've taken a template off that side there and I can use the jigsaw to cut that just got to do a different end obviously because I can't do the same one on that all right that's the first rough cut off that one transpose that to that one cut that out put them together and sand them and finish them. Okay, these are my two pieces. Sand them down with 240 grit, it's kind of as low as I went. And I've contoured them to the, or scribed them to the contour of the boat. And it's gonna go kind of like that. And the piece of, I think is nickel plated tube um, is six foot long. So I've basically got three foot, which is about that. I've got to have a gap here for the door to close into um so that's all right so all i've got to do now is wax these drill the holes whack it in there cut the uh, tube use my uh, angle my hole cutter to put a couple of holes in here i want them as kind of far out as i can so i've got some kind of bulk for the uh, for the towels to go onto. yeah that'll be all right 
Right, let's wax these. So to do these, I'm using beeswax, which I've used before. I've hardly got any left, so I'll be quite sparing with this. But it goes quite far. Right, this is now finished. Well, the pot has. I'll just leave this to sit for a minute and then I will polish it up and then uh, drill my holes in it. The bits I really wanted to focus on on this bit of furniture was this facing edge because on this one here I didn't do it well enough and uh, it's kind of when you're sanding it down it kind of goes furry and uh, <coughs> basically it means you haven't started with a low enough grit so you've got to go kind of back through them all again which is what I've done on this and the leading edge is so much nicer. Uh. Right now I need to cut this into two bits of three foot. <laughs> So what I've done when I go through with the hole cutter like that, this one makes sure that the tube kind of clamps in place. It doesn't take out the whole hole, it just makes a hole, basically. If you catch my drift. What I go through now though, is with a small drill bit and just scrape out the bits and just widen it a little bit. So that the tube fits in nice and securely. What am I doing here? That is that side there. And in terms of positioning of this, what I've really got to do is make sure I give myself enough clearance on the door, which is loads. So if I choose to close it like that, then I've got to have it basically there. But even if I did it there, it's still, it's still closed. So. I want it bathroom wise and I've done these so that rail is obviously going to be the same height as that one and the lower one same height as that one I'm hoping so it'll look kind of pretty good um, so I'm wondering if the best thing to do is just to set it up and then just put it in place like that Kind of in the middle of those two bits. Yeah, I reckon that is it. Uh. Oh, please fit in. Manual 
screwdriver. Superb. So I know what you're probably thinking is that that rail there at the top looks a bit too high because that is that that one there is not a rail that's just to hold books in whereas that one is actually a rail but i'm going to have towels draped over it and what i want is for the towels to be long enough to tuck underneath there and then room for other bits and flannels or whatever to hang i think that'll be a the way to do that well, I haven't done a vast amount in the bathroom, in fairness. I've really just put this up. But I do like the way it all marries up. I like the fact that that line is the same. But the uh, nickel really kind of stands out, which is nice. And from the bedroom. Yeah, it's nice. Kind of. Yeah, that looks all right breaks up that big expanse of wall as I was saying and I've put a nice what's it called shag pile anyway it's really nice and fluffy that is Carol got that for me so I've got that which is uh something nice and makes it a bit more comfortable happy days I'm well chuffed with that that's made the place look um well, much more complete it marries in really nicely with this and from the bedroom it looks brilliant having that thing there because otherwise it's just kind of a big expanse of wall it's a little bit boring um so yeah it's good still need to finish off that i need to buy the little bit of d profile for the bottom there uh, i need to trim a bit of this door so it closes easy um but other than that yeah improvements to the bathroom have been made which is uh the name of the game I remember when I was up at North Kilworth, uh, I spoke to this guy that had been doing up boats for like ever and a day. And I said, I just want to know, when, you know what, what point do you know your boat's done? Um, and he said, because everything's got a place and everything's in its place. And uh, for ages, towels have just been either on the shower door or in a box underneath the bed. So now I've got somewhere to kind of put them properly. Uh, I'm one step closer to uh, that feeling of having everything, you know, in its place. So uh, yeah, it feels good. Uh, still got plenty to crack on with. Next thing, apart from the, the, I know I said I'd be doing the flu next. The reason I haven't done that is because the hardwood I had for it basically um, didn't very didn't weather very well. I'd left it outside to test it uh, without treating it, and after even just one day, it's always starting to move. So I'm going to opt for a bit of nylon. Um, that's the plan, and then I'm going to shape some nylon. So I'll get round to that. Um, I don't know, whatever. Uh, next thing I need to do though is finish that bit off and um, make some kind of like drinks cabinet type of thing uh, and a shelf or something along there because now that's a big expanse of wall that needs some some work doing to it but I've also put putting up some pictures using uh, velcro uh, so uh, starting to make it look a bit more homely I need to do that in the uh, in the bedroom as well so kind of yeah but it's it's getting there hope you guys are very well take care until next time bye bye